Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. Today, you might be a little surprised to see that I have the Stratomatic hockey game up, but that it is uh, Mismatch Monday. And so maybe you were expecting baseball to be up here, but we're not going to have Mismatch Monday baseball. We're going to have Mismatch Monday hockey. You can see I got my North Stars hat on, but we're not doing the North Stars today. Even though we could, we certainly could be doing the North Stars, but that's not today's matchup in hockey. And I had the suggestion, the suggestion was given to me by Dave Gardner to um, maybe do other types of mismatch Monday matchups in hockey, football, whatever, what have you. So today's is going to be hockey using the PC. Because I'm feeling a little lazy today. I didn't want to break out the board and the uh, cards and do it with the cards. Um, and also, I'm a little less, um, I'm a little more limited in what I have available to me in the uh, hockey cards than what I have available to me in the hockey um, PC game. And today's matchup is going to be the Winnipeg Jets hosting the Montreal Canadiens of 1989. Now, in 1989, the uh, Canadiens were 53, 18, and 9 for 115 points. Their goaltender was Patrick Waugh. He was the starter. The Winnipeg Jets were 26, 42, and 12 for a grand total of only 64 points. Now, even though I know it's probably going to mean my loss here, I'm going to lose this game. I'm still going to take Winnipeg in the game. Um, so we are going to get started with this. We'll go um, new unscheduled. And uh, we're going to go 1989. So, visiting team is going to be Montreal. And uh, they're going to be controlled solely by the computer. And I am going to have Winnipeg. And that's going to be... Um, Computer lines and human decisions. That's how we're going to play this one. And so we are going to get on with the game. You can see the logos are out there. And uh, we're going to uh, maximize the screen here as much as we can. I am going to see if I can take Pokey Reddick out. I don't want to play Pokey Reddick. I want to play... Uh, I want to play... Baba Senza. So we're going to put Baba Senza in net. He's going to be the goalie for us. And uh, yeah, we'll move myself over here so you can see the full text of everything that's going on. And um, let's see here. Let's go to let's go to the game options. And I'm going to say we want the base delay to be one minute. Um, one minute is good, I think. And um, now I think we're I think we're good now. So we're going to go face off, and we're underway here with the 1989 Winnipeg Jets hosting the 1989. Montreal Canadiens and Chelios has the puck for Montreal. And they've already got a shot. They're down on top of Asenza with a shot. And that's going to be a save in the defensive center. It's going to come up with it. That's Thomas Steen. So now Steen has the puck for us. Outside shot for right wing. And um, let's see. Brent Ashton can take, he can try to get inside or pass uh, or take the shot. I'm going to try to um, pass it. And he does pass it back to Steen, who gets a save in the right defenseman for Montreal, comes up with the puck. 
So that is Chelios, and Chelios has control of the puck right now. And uh, I am going to try to intimidate at 30%, but it doesn't work. And McPhee is down inside with a shot, and that's going to be a save. And the right defenseman comes up with it. Asenza, he's big so far early here. Olison has the puck for us. And let's see. Olison has the chance to. I'm going to say no on the intimidation. It's only 20% chance, and you risk getting a penalty. So that is going to be um, a lose to the left wing, and that's Fenton for us. So Paul Fenton has the puck, and that is going to be, uh, they, they got the puck back from him, but they lost it to Boschman, and now Boschman has the puck. And it looks like we've got a, well, they've got an outside, Boschman loses the puck, and Scrutland has an outside shot only, and that's going to be a save with a rebound. And uh, Walter has the rebound shot. And that's a goalie rating six, and it's a goal! And the Canadians are already up one nothing at the 16.45 mark of the first period. Surprised they didn't do it sooner. But anyway, we are down one nothing early. Of course, this is Mismatch Monday, and this is a classic mismatch. Zvoboda has the puck for Montreal. And, um... So, let's see. Oh, I can select any player for a shot. Yeah, we'll go with Smale. Doug Smale. Doug Smale with the outside shot. And that's going to be a save. And the left defenseman comes up with the puck. And uh, that is Svoboda. Svoboda with the puck. And... Uh, all right, I am going to try to intimidate at 40%, but Smale couldn't take the puck away, and Claude Lemieux is down inside with an inside shot on Ascenza, gets a rebound, and who is the rebound going to go to? It's going to go to Bob Gainey. Bob Gainey with that rebound shot, and that is going to be a save. And the left defenseman, despite giving up a shot or a goal so far, um, Ascenza is still, he's, doing quite well. I mean, six shots on goal by one of the best teams in the league and only one goal. I mean, really, percentage-wise, that save percentage-wise, that's really not good. But this is a much talented Habs team. And we have uh, Thomas Dean has an outside shot. He's going to try to pass the puck. And he loses the puck on the pass. It's not a good pass. And now Guy Carboneau has the puck. And no telling what they're going to do with it. But let's see. Um, he loses to McBain. So now McBain has the puck for us. And Scrudlin takes the puck back. And so Montreal has control of it now. 12.48 left in the first period. And we are losing one nothing. And Olison has an inside shot. Let's see what he can do with that. It's a rebound. Hopefully we're going to get it. Offensive left wing if he's a three. And he is Paul Fenton with the uh, rebound shot. And it's another rebound and any defensive player. So Ludwig comes up with it. Montreal has the puck back. 12.05 of the first period. And uh, Boschman goes down. And, well, they didn't say that there was a penalty or anything for that. So... And it looks like they failed to penetrate. And so uh, um, Dave Ellett, is it Dave Ellett, has the puck? Yep. And Montreal's Chelios has a two-minute penalty. You could have seen that coming. I mean, we are talking about Chelios. So Winnipeg with the power play, it's only one nothing here. And, uh, and we're only being outshot 6-4. to four. So let's see. Elliot, uh, Ellett has the puck. And Montreal gets control of the puck back, 1040, 1037 mark of the uh, first period. And Dale Howardchuk has a possible, has a shot 
I am going to, or I could give it to Dale Howard Chuck, and I will. And you know what? He's going to, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he does penetrate. So Howard Chuck, it looks like, is going to get an inside shot here. And that's seven goalie rating, six save either defenseman. So Green comes away with the puck for the uh, Canadians. And let's see, we have uh, McBain has an outside shot. I'm going to try to pass. It looks like he's got a great chance of getting a completed pass. And uh, we're going to give it to Ashton. We, we already tried with Howard Chuck, and he failed. So let's see if he can do it. Ashton is inside with an inside shot. But that's going to be a save, although it goes to their center, but they don't have one if, they're, if we're on the power play. So, Howard Chuck, I am going to say he's going to pass inside shot for right wing. And so that gives Ashton another shot at this. And we, even with another shot, he loses the puck to the left wing. That's Guy Carboneau in this particular case. So, Guy Carboneau from Montreal has the puck at the 927 mark of the first period. And uh, Andrew McBain, I'm going to give it to Andrew McBain, yeah. And he's going to try to pass. Inside shot for left wing, and that's Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck with another shot here. Another chance, and it's going to be a rebound. So let's see who gets the rebound. Hopefully us, but yes. And Howard Chuck will get his own rebound, and he gets another rebound. And any defensive player who is over a two, which they should have had, for sure, and that's Matt's Nasland in this particular case who has the puck. And uh, Ashton is going to penetrate inside and get another shot. We're getting shots on Wah. I mean, I don't think that's what the problem is. Offensive left wing of a two, Ashton with another shot. It's, it, it's just, just that Wah is a brick wall, and he is. I remember my brother, he's a big Canadians fan. He, ha he used to have a poster of Patrick Wah with a brick wall behind him. I am going to try to intimidate, and uh, Ashton can't stop him. So Nasland is down inside with a shot on Asenza, and that's a goalie rating to save any defensive player. I'm going to put it to the guy that's across from a B, hoping for another to force another penalty on Montreal. So that's Taglianetti has the puck right now. Um, we're out shooting them, actually, 10-7, to 7, mainly because of the penalty, and Svoboda does get a penalty. So we did draw the penalty that we wanted to draw, 734 left in the first period. Only down one nothing, thanks mainly to uh, Asenza standing on his head. And we've got Carlisle with the puck. Although really Wah is standing on his head. We've got an outside shot by Duncan. And that's going to be a save right wing. So their right wing comes up with it. That's Scrudland. Scrudland with the puck. And he does skate successfully, and let's see what he does now. He does another successful skate, and let's see what he does now. They are, so far, they're killing this penalty off pretty well, but Duncan has an outside shot. He's really going to pass it, is what's going to happen. We're going to take an inside shot with Steen, Thomas Steen with the inside shot. That's going to be a rebound. We keep getting these rebounds, and we don't always pick them up, but Duncan does in this case, and he's going to get a save in the right wing. So the right wing comes away with it for Montreal. That's Scrudlin, 6.05 left, and only 31 seconds left in the penalty. And uh, now the penalty is over, and Richet, Stefan Richet, has the puck for Montreal. And uh, I am definitely going to intimidate at 75%. And, uh, and oh, another reason that I wanted to take, let's see, select penalty or the guy to serve the penalty. We'll go with Boschman. Uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this, um, take um, that I wanted to take the Jets, was that they have Gord Donnelly on the team. And uh, I don't even know if Donnelly is playing, really. Um, I would hope he is. But maybe he's not. No, it doesn't look like he is. But I loved Gord Donnelly. Double A penalty guy. Uh, big intimidation, but you run the risk of him uh, 
getting a penalty. And if I had thought to, you know, if I had thought about that before the game, Howard Chuck is inside with an inside shot, nine save any forward. If I had thought about that before the game, I would have made sure that Gord Donnelly was in the game. But he uh, doesn't appear to be. In oh, no, yes, he is. He is in the game. All right, good. Because I definitely wanted him playing. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to intimidate. And it doesn't happen. So Stefan Riche has the puck. And goalie rating seven is a goal. And Asenza gives up his second goal of the game. We may be going back to Pokey Redick. We may just have to do that. Although it is only 2 nothing. We're still technically in this game, the first period as you can see, is not even over yet. And um, we're going to go with, uh, give the puck to somebody across from a high penalty. We're going to give it to Schmale, Doug Schmale, because he's a, across from an A penalty. And hopefully I can draw another penalty. And there is a penalty. A two-minute penalty on Claude Lemieux. Ha <laughs> ha! Who saw that coming? So yeah, with the 318 mark of the first period, we're being we're out shooting them 14 to 8, but we're losing on the scoreboard 2 nothing. And Key Guy Carbono comes away with the puck off the um off the face off, but he's going to lose the puck to our team. And um player for the shot, I'm going to go back to uh Howard Chuck. And we're going to try to penetrate inside with Howard Chuck. And he had to pass. He was forced to pass. And um, McBain now has the inside shot. It would be nice if we could get a shot or a, a goal off of one of these penalties. I mean, so far, Montreal's had three penalties. We've only had one, I think. And uh, let's see what happens here. Can we get control? No, Ludwig has the puck for Montreal. Two minutes left in the first period. And Ludwig is inside. He has an inside shot, and that is going to be a save. And the right defenseman comes away with it for us. That's Olison. Olison with the puck, and he passes to McBain, who has an outside shot only, and it's a save, and the defensive center comes away, but they're still on a penalty, so we should have the puck because they don't have a center. Well, no, that did, didn't work out that way. Lume actually has the puck now for them. Um, but he loses to Newmanen, who has an outside shot. Teppo Newmanen with an outside shot. They lose to the left defenseman. Um, five seconds, closing seconds here of the first period. And I'm going to try to intimidate. And the period's over. So we're losing 2 nothing going to the second period. We're losing 2 nothing, but we're out shooting the Montreal Canadiens by twice. Almost twice. Uh, mainly because they keep getting penalties. Uh, they've had three of them so far. We are going to try to intimidate. And a hit on Smith. And uh, he it's successful. So Ellett has the puck for Winnipeg. And... Uh, we're going to try, we lose the puck again. We're going to try to intimidate. Ellett can't knock Chelios off the puck, though. And that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes up with it. So that's going to be the 10th shot for Montreal. Olison with the puck. Now I realize Asenza only has an 80% save percentage here, which isn't that great. And Duncan is inside for an inside shot, which is a save, and the right wing coming up with it. That's going to be Russ Cortnell. Russ Cortnell has the puck for Montreal. And uh, outside shot for the right wing, and they're trying to work it inside, it looks like. But they don't. They lose the puck to Carlisle. Randy Carlisle has it for us. Losing 2 nothing here, and Larry Robinson is going to have an outside shot for Montreal, and that's going to result in a rebound. No, no, they're going to try to deflect it with Riche, Stefan Riche on the deflect, and it's a goal! And we're down 3 nothing. and Ascens has got to be getting dog right now. Um, although I don't think he is. It doesn't look like he is. He hasn't turned yellow, but he's going to turn yellow soon because this Montreal team is unloading on him. They've only got 11 shots, 
And on those 11 shots, they've come up with three goals. We have 17 shots. We've come up with nothing. Um, a whole lot of nothing. Lori Boschman is going to try to pass. Uh, inside shot for right wing. That's Gord Donnelly, my man. Gord Donnelly has an inside shot. <laughs> and it's going to be saved by the right defenseman. So um, Montreal with uh, possession of the puck. Larry Robinson has it. 616 mark of the second period. Um, I'm going to give it to Hanu, uh, whatever his name is. I can't pronounce that. And uh, he has the inside shot, Jarvin Pa. Um, and he's going to lose it to the left defenseman. So Montreal has the puck back. They have the 3 nothing lead. They're being outshot 18 to 11, but it doesn't seem to be bothering them since they have the 3 nothing goal lead. And Lemieux is going to have an inside shot on Asenza. That's going to be a save in the left defenseman. So the left defenseman, Jim Kite, is going to come away with the puck. And uh, he's got, uh, well, we're going to give it to Thomas Steen. And Thomas Steen's going to have an inside shot. Let's see if he can capitalize on this. But he can't, and it's going to be a save. The right defenseman comes up with it. That was our 19th shot. 19th shot this game. Three power plays against Montreal. And we've come up with the big goose egg so far. And that is going to be a save. And the center is going to come away with the puck. And that is McBain. So McBain has the puck for us. 13.51 mark. And another penalty on Montreal. But it doesn't seem to be hurting them so far. They're up 3-0. Now, if we could capitalize on this. And get a goal here. I think we're back in this. But Howard Chuck is going to have the puck. Let's see what he can do with it. And he he feeds Ellett. So Ellett has an inside shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating 8. And it's a face-off. Is there a goal on Patrick Waz card? I mean, I just want to know. It's an honest question. So they've uh, we've outshot them 20 to 13. But we are... Uh, losing the game 3 nothing. Howard Chuck, I'm going to try to penetrate with Howard Chuck. And he's ridden off the puck, and Cortnell comes up with it. So Russ Cortnell has the puck at the 13-29 mark with a minute 33 left in the penalty. Um, yeah, let's give it to Ellett. I mean, I don't know who to give it to. He's going to pass. Ellett's a good passer. Let's see if he can make the good pass. No. It's picked off. Oh, but we get it back. So Olofsson has an in, has an outside shot. I'm going to try to pass with Olofsson. Inside shot for left wing. So Howard Chuck has another, yet another shot. And it's going to be saved, and the defensive center comes away, although he is still on the penalty, so that should still be us. And it is. Ellett has an, in, uh, an outside shot. You know what? I'm just going to take the shot, because... Trying to get inside. It doesn't seem to be helping or doing anything. Goalie rating four is a rebound. So we got the, I mean, I don't know. Uh, McBain, I'm going to have McBain take the rebound shot. So he's right there. And he gets a goalie rating plus four rebound. And that is going to be, oh, Olofsson has the rebound shot. Goalie rating seven. It's a goal. And we tie the game. So, finally, our guys tie the, or not, we don't tie the game, but we got a goal. Finally, we got a goal. So, it is three to one. And that was a goal by Olofsson with assists by McBain and Ellett. And we're at the 1229 mark of the second period. And uh, that's going to be, Ellett comes up with the puck. So I think we're kind of back in this, but Riche with an outside shot from Montreal to goalie rating 11, save any forward. I'm going to give it to a guy that's across from a B, you know, the highest uh, penalty available, and hope that he gets another penalty. I mean, if we can force him into two more penalties, uh, or more since we're not scoring really well on those penalties, we have a shot. Um, I think the last one was a power play penalty, though, or a power play goal. 
player penetrated Lemieux. Claude Lemieux is inside. It's going to be a save and a lose to the and the center comes away with it. That's Gillen. And now Gillen has the puck for us. And yeah, so far it's a pretty good game. Three to one. Um, I don't want to say Ascends has been that great, but he's been uh, good enough to keep us close. Player penetrated, though. Shane Corson has penetrated inside and has an inside close shot here. And it's going to be a goal. And Bob Ascends is getting taken apart here by this Montreal team. That's a Shane Corson goal with assists by Bobby Smith and Peter Savoda. Svoboda. So, anyway... Um, yeah, Ascends has got to be getting yellow soon. It's four to one, and he's only faced 16 shots. And now we're, again, not really, um, I mean, I thought we were maybe close. Bobby Smith with an inside shot. I thought we were getting close, but that's going to be a save by Ascenza. Face off to his left, and uh, with 8.44 left in the second period, um, who's going to come away with the puck? Inside shot for Carbono, Guy Carbono with an inside shot. That's going to be a goalie rating 10, and that's going to be another face-off. So we're going to have another face-off to the left of Ascends. I probably am going to bring in Pokey Reddick in the uh, third period, but if you were to look at their cards, you'd see that they're really not, one is not really significantly better than the other. And in fact, Asenza had a better goals against average. His goals against average in 1989 and the 88-89 season was like a 377, I think, goals against average. And Pokey Reddick had a 410. So it's not like we're upgrading if we go to Pokey Reddick. And that's why I decided to start Bob Asenza. There is a save and our center comes away with it. That's Boschman. Boschman with the puck. And... uh he loses it to Green. Now, Green has an outside shot. Montreal leading 4-1 here at the 631 mark of the second period. That looked like, I guess it was a save and uh, or a takeaway. And Newmanen has the puck. Doug Smale, yeah, I'll give it to Doug Smale. And a crushing hit on Smale, and they took the puck away. And Claude Lemieux now has the puck. And uh, is there going to be a, nope, um, now Naslin has, Naslin has the puck for Montreal. Inside shot, intimidation, left wing. I am going to try to intimidate, that's for sure. It's 65%. Doesn't work, and Shane Corson is inside with uh, an inside shot. He loses to the left wing, though, Dale Howardchuk. Howardchuk has it. We're at the 405 mark of the second period and Montreal's winning four to one. Chelios has the puck for Montreal. And uh and ooh, we Ellett takes the puck away, has an inside shot, but he loses it to the left defenseman. 331 mark here in the second period. We're losing by three goals. And uh They're trying, that Montreal's trying to work it inside, but they can't. And Boschman comes away with the puck for us. And there's a breakaway for Paul Fenton. This is going to be a big chance here. It's a rebound. Let's see if we get it. Offensive left defenseman, Randy Carlisle with the uh, rebound shot. That's going to be a 15. And it is, oh, man. That was a, it was a uh, goal. Yeah. We, we missed that one. So uh, face off to Patrick Waz right. And we have the puck. Fenton. Um, I'm going to try to penetrate with Fenton. He failed to penetrate. So now they have the puck back. We're at the 154 mark. We're closing down here in the second period. Losing 4-1. to one. I am going to try to intimidate at 70%. And there is a penalty, so see, I tried to intimidate, and that was, it resulted in a penalty. Looks like we're going to be short-handed, and we are. So now we have to kill off a penalty. Um, 
that it's going to last a few seconds into the third period. So this isn't good. Olafson has the puck. And he loses the puck inside shot for the center. So Bobby Smith takes the puck away, has an inside shot. And that's going to be a lose to the left defenseman. Olafson has it again. And he loses the puck again. And now there's an inside shot for Chelios. And Chelios is going to get a rebound off that shot. And uh, Ashton comes away with the puck for us. 26 seconds left. Uh, looks like we may kill this penalty off, although Mats Naslin has one last shot before the end of the period. That's a goalie rating eight, and it's going to be a face-off. Face-off to Ascenza's left. And uh, four seconds left. It's four to one going to the, it probably is, yep, going to the third period. And, uh, yeah, I guess the penalty, I don't, I thought it would have gone into the second period or into the third period. But anyway, we are going to change goalies here because, um, Ascenza was clearly not the answer. And I don't think Reddick is either, but we're going to go to, Co um, Pokey Reddick with uh, the third period, uh, getting underway. And uh, we've outshot Montreal in this game, 27 to 21, but we're losing four to one. We need three goals to try to get a walk away with a tie here, and I'm doubting that that's going to happen. Shane Corson comes away with the puck for Montreal, but we'll see how close we can make it. Let's see just how good a game we can make this on Mismatch Monday. Howard Chuck with an outside shot, and only an outside shot. It's a save, and the right defenseman comes up with the puck. That is Chris Chelios. Chelios has gotten more uh, more ice time than some polar bears this game. And McBain takes the puck away, has an outside shot, and it's going to be a save in the left wing. Comes away with the puck. And Walter has it for uh, the Montreal Canadiens. And a player to serve an extra minor. God, Boschman. I guess we'll make it Boschman. So we are going to be shorthanded again. Not good. Uh, we're going to be shorthanded until the 15-40-46 mark or so. Uh, Ashton comes away with the puck. Passing L. Great pass. I'm going to give it to uh, Howard Chuck. Inside shot for Howard Chuck. And we're shorthanded on this. But Wah stops it, of course. And so it's a uh, face-off to his right with us still shorthanded here for um, a minute 40. And uh, Svoboda has the puck for Montreal. We're at the 17.04 mark of the third period. Matt's Naslin with an inside shot. Goalie rating 12. And that is going to be a save. And there's going to be a Reddick covers it up, and there's going to be a face off to Reddick's left. And uh, let's see what happens with that. Um, left wing Howard Chuck. Yeah, let's give it to Howard Chuck. And let's see what he can do with it. Hopefully he can keep it away from Montreal. And that he can't, though. Naslin gets the puck and has an inside shot. It is going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it. Reddick has been a little better than Asenza so far here. But, I mean, we're down by three goals. We need goals. We don't need, you know, this, I mean, we need saves, obviously. But uh, we need goals bigger than that. And Olofsson has an inside shot. It's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes away with it. Now, I'm a little... Um, unorthodox in my running of a hockey team so i may pull the goalie way earlier than two minutes um, especially down by three goals in a one-off game but there's a save by wa lines have changed and now mcphee has the puck for montreal and there is 14 29 left and they penetrated Cortnell got inside and so now russ Cortnell. As an inside shot, goalie rating 9, save either defenseman. I will give it to Ellett because he's across from a penalty B. And uh, so now Ellett has the puck. Um, if the lines don't change and they don't appear to. And, but 
He loses the puck, and Larry Robinson comes up with it. We're at the 13-14 mark, 12-49 mark. Ellett coming away with the puck. And there is a penalty, and it'll be a penalty on Montreal, and it is Chris Chelios with at least his second penalty of the game. Could be third, I'm not sure, but I know it's at least his second. And so now we are going to try to capitalize on that. Ludwig comes away with the puck, and he successfully skates. And let's see what happens here. He does not skate there. He tries to skate with the puck, and he couldn't. And so we're going to have the puck. Uh, let's see. I want to give it to Ashton. Let's give it to Ashton. And, uh, and then I'm going to have Ashton pass because I realized he's a good passer. Outside shot for left defenseman. So he lost the puck. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's outside shot for our guy. I'm going to have Ellett pass, too. And, no, he loses control to Montreal and so now Green has the puck 1208 mark here in a game where we're losing four to one even if at this point it was three to one I would think we're still really in bad shape but four to one we're really in bad shape um, Svoboda with the puck and he does successfully skate just barely and now they've killed off the penalty and uh we're out shooting them 32-24. Wah has been spectacular, but our goaltending really hasn't. And there's going to be another penalty, and this one is probably going to be on. Uh, no, it's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be offsetting penalties, so we're both still at full strength. But as I was saying, we've outshot them 32-24 so far, but we've got nothing to show for it from that, as we are losing four to one. And Olafson has the puck. He takes the puck away. We're at the 922 mark of the third period. Ludwig with the puck. Goalie rating. Goal! Reddick gives up his first goal, and Montreal takes a commanding 5-1 to one lead. I'm not even going to bother with the extra man now. That goal was by Craig Ludwig of Montreal with assist by Stefan Riche and Brian Skrudelin. And so now we've got a face-off at center ice. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's you're not going to get four goals. Even if you could pull the goalie, and even if there were six goalies, you could pull and put six more guys on the ice. You're not going to beat Montreal here. And, uh, of course, this lives up to Ancelios with the outside shot. This has lived up, uh, I, would, I would have to say, this has definitely lived up to. And there's going to be a deflection by Smith trying to deflect it for a goal. This has certainly lived up to Mismatch Monday's standards. Thomas Steen is going to come away with the puck for Montreal, and uh, but the lines change, and so it ends up being McBain. And he gave it to Taglanetti, who was hammered by Svoboda, and Svoboda comes away with the puck. 7.40 left in the game, and it is 5-1 Montreal. Taglianetti has the puck for us, and... Uh, Let's see if we can get something going and make this look a little better. Outside shot for Stefan Riche. And that's going to be a save and the right defenseman coming away with it. That's Taglianetti. Taglianetti with the puck, and he gives up an outside. No, he gets an outside shot for Paul Fenton. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to penetrate, and he does penetrate. So Fenton gets inside on Wow. We've had our chances today. 32 shots, a lot of goalie ratings, and uh, is that a goal? Yes, it is. It's a goal, and so it's 5-2, to two. but I still think we're out of reach. There's only 626 left. So let's see who Fenton got that goal. Um, it was a goal by Fenton with assist by Peter Taglianetti and Laurie Boschman. And so face off at center ice. Wah has given up his second goal on 33 shots. Uh, but we're still losing 5-2. to two. And um, they come away with it. Chelios has the puck off the faceoff. 548 left in the game. But Ellett takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a rebound. And I am going to try to deflect the puck. So we're going to try the deflection with Steen in front of the net. 
And that is going to be a save. He's made the save. Unbelievable. Well, this is Patrick Wah. He is a Hall of Famer. So the face off to his right, um, Howard Chuck. I'm going to try to penetrate with Howard Chuck. He failed to penetrate. So we lose the puck, and Shane Corson comes away with it from Montreal with 519 left in the third period. And Howard Chuck with an outside shot. And uh, it's going to be a save in the left wing coming away with the puck. That is McPhee. McPhee has the puck. It's 5-2, to two, 439 left here in the game. I am going to try to pass the puck. And he loses the puck to the opponent on the pass. So Cortinal has the puck right now for Montreal. And all right, Ellen Elunik has an inside shot and goalie rating six save either defenseman. Wah, he's there to save the day again. Larry Robinson coming away with the puck. 340 left in the game. Um, Winnipeg losing big here. Going to be offsetting penalties, it looks like. And so we're going to have a face-off at center ice. Uh, we're out shooting them 36-27. It's been the theme of the game. We're out shooting them big time, but we're also big time losing to them. Uh, I'll give it to Olsen. I don't really, at this point, who really cares? And Olsen with an inside shot. And he is going to get a save and a left defenseman coming away with the puck. That is Ludwig. Again, um, Winnipeg only had 64 points in 1988-89, and Montreal had 115. Um, I'm going to try to pass the puck, and it uh, doesn't look like that worked. It didn't, and Russ Cortnell has it with a, mon a minute 48 left in the game. We're out shooting him by 10 shots, but we're losing by three goals. I'm going to try to pass an inside shot for any player. We're going to give it to uh, Ian Duncan. He hasn't had a shot this game, and, I mean, Lord knows. So uh, that's going to be a save in the right defenseman theme of the game. Saved by Wah. And a minute 40 left in the game. Minute 15 left now. And... He loses the puck. We have it, but there's only 39 seconds left, and we're down by three goals. And Montreal has a penalty with only a few seconds left. So I don't know how good that really is for us. Howard Chuck has the puck with only 19 seconds left. He gives it to Olofsson, who has an outside shot only. And is that a goal? That is a goal, and hey, in the last closing seconds, we made this a game. But, um, you know, with only a few seconds left, you're still not going to get two goals on Montreal. But wow, the chinks in the armor here. Frederick Olofsson with assist by Dale Howardchuk and Dave Ellett. And that is going to, in fact, be the game. And so the final score is 5-3. to three. We outshot Montreal 39-27. And if we go down to the stars of the game, you've got Stefan Riche as the first star, Brian Scrudland of Montreal as the second star, and Patrick Waugh as the third star for giving up three goals. I think that was pretty generous. But anyway, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.